Welcome back to another video guys. I have a little bit of a lens on the camera right here to give you guys a wider angle view as well as make it more crystal clear for the video quality hopefully. So this car was made in California and then from California went to New York where it served two years as a rental vehicle in New York. Yes, in New York. At that point it was then given to an auction house and from that auction house we then proceeded to make its way down to Memphis, Tennessee, where it was owned by one owner for two years exactly, from 2018 all the way up until 2020, just recently, at which point they traded in for a different car. What car? I have no idea, but they did. So, from that, we get that this car was a rental car, it was then a personal vehicle car. What does that tell us? Well, we have a little bit more information to share about when this car was a rental car. That being that when this car was a rental car, the engine, drivetrain, and transmission all had to be replaced on this car about eight months into it being a rental car, which is a little bit weird. We also learned that oil changes were regularly done to this car and kept up to date, which is great to know as a car owner. Um, you know, oil change wise, you got to make sure that they are always kept up to date with oil changes and done correctly because you guys know what happens if oil changes are not done correctly. You go like an extended amount of miles over an oil change. We also found out that it has new ish tires on it, so that's great to know. And that's pretty much it about the car. Now, the reason why the engine, drivetrain, and transmission were all replaced is a complete mystery, to be 100% honest with you guys. There is no service history record of this car being wrecked or any damage being done to this car or anything along those lines for this car. So I'm not exactly sure what caused that to happen. A major negative here. The entire under engine of this car was never maintained except for oil changes. That means no new air filter, no new cabin filter, nothing along those lines has been checked on this car. No new spark plugs, nothing. So what that tells me is that the person did care about oil changes, but didn't necessarily care about major maintenance of the car. So, you know, they knew, oh, hey, we got to change the oil. And that, so -and -so. What is overall wrong with this car? The cup holder and the daylight sensor on the dash. The daylight sensor on the dash is messed up because when you have your headlights set to auto they are not supposed to work essentially what, what what i mean by that is when your headlights are set to automatic what's supposed to happen is your headlights are not supposed to turn on unless you go into a dark tunnel dark area or something along those lines sunny day right now with no problems and no issues and for some reason the Lights are works on. the way it's supposed to. The radio works, the Bluetooth works, whatever. Uh, the speakers are a tiny little bit blown out, and I can tell because they are a bit muffled when you listen to them. So I might have to get those done. But other than that, everything else is good. Now, under the car, I cannot tell you, engine wise. There is so much dirt and dust. I'm going to have to knock that off and then, you know, get all that out of the way because we clearly don't want that to be underneath the car, you know. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my, you know, history of the V6 Mustang. And, yeah, I'm not really sure why the transmission engine and drivetrain were all replaced. But it is what it is. And I'll see you guys in the next video.